Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to send an email using Node.js with SendGrid. So you have to go to, I'm assuming that you go to SendGrid. Sign up for an account. It's a mail server. It will help you um, get your emails through the spam filters. So if you look at my screen, today I wrote this article on Medium. Um, I'm trying to publish more, so follow me on Medium. But this article here describes how to send an email um, using Node, essentially ex exactly what I'm going to talk about in the, today's video, but I'm going to explain it and do it um, following this article. I'll include the article down in the link, uh, in the description, sorry. So if you look, um, a couple things I expect you to do, I expect you to have a SendGrid account and Node.js uh, Node installed. And we're going to start by going to setup. I'm using the first, uh, uh, the Mern boilerplate code, which is this one here. And it's a clone, but I can use this one. And I'm going to clone. I'm going to open up terminal. I'm on my desktop. I'm going to hit type in um, make directory. Called send grid one. Switch over to send grid one. And then I'm going to do a get that clone, which is going to clone the Mern boilerplate. And I'm going to do switch into that directory. Okay, and so I'm going to make this a little bigger so you can see it. And I'm going to clear it. Jump back over the article. Tells me to do an npm install of send, the send grid library. That's going to tell me to do it. npm install the async library. These libraries are libraries are both um, async uh, helps the pro, uh, order in which things happen, uh, events happen, and the sendgrid library is necessary to send the email in the simplest way possible. The next thing you have to do is open up a text editor like Atom. With with the um, Atom editor open. I can see my package JSON that's changed. I've added those two li libraries. And I have this config.example.js. I need to change it to be config.js. And you won't see it here because it's under the git ignore. And what I'm going to do with that is copy, paste, delete this. I'm actually not going to, I'm going to actually copy it right from here. And it's just to set up your database. Now, in this video, we're not going to actually use the database, but you need it so that the uh, that the whole app can compile and so with that you'll need to install node uh, so not node, you'll need node but you, you also need mongo for that and the very last step is to run a npm install and that's going to take a little while and then you're going to do an npm run start dev which starts up the server so just jumping down as this installs for me personally we're going to set up a new endpoint in the roots um, directory and it's going to be api slash send and then in the, above that we're going to have a function called send email now with this I, I, the reason why we put a function is so that if you're sending multiple emails in multiple spots you only have to have one function and if the send grid code for some reason changes you can just change the function you have to be able, you're going to have to generate a, uh, an api key off the send grid website so you just go to sendgrid.com And you'll have to sign into your account and then under settings. Yeah, so under settings, you'll find any, a way to generate an API key. I just got significantly brighter. The, the sun is reflecting off the building over there. And usually I use, do this in the morning so that I can get the sunlight. But now that it's becoming winter, like it's blinding because it's the sun's changing so now it's really reflecting hit me oh god I can't even see now that's done you type in clear and do an npm run start dev and as it tells you at uh, localhost 8080 you should be able to find your application It will take a second to load because you have to get this compiled. And so you can see it now, okay? So we're not actually going to use the UI, so this doesn't really matter. What we're going to be using is um, we're going to create a new endpoint. 
So with this, under, as it says in the instructions here, under the server roots API, and you create a new file called email.js. And email.js, you're gonna put the single endpoint point in there. Paste that in there. You don't need that page. Sorry if I'm jumping around too quickly. These are the two imp uh, imports you'll need. So you just go to the very top, paste those in. You just scroll down, grab this function, and it kind of explain how it works. Um, so this function has massive space. You know, put your API key in here. I'm gonna grab mine in a sec, but essentially the way it works is in an async way, it grabs and loops through each uh, e uh, list of two two emails, which is a uh, async function. Uh, sorry, wait, sorry, which is an array, not an async function. That's completely wrong. It then uh, creates an email and uses does uh, uses the helper to create an email with the two as well, and then creates contacts with the text slash HTML, and then creates the mail object and then sends it off. And then when it's all done, it, it returns all the successful emails and all the uh, ones that weren't successful. So with that, you'll need to update the insides of your 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 post. I'll need to upgrade the in, uh, the actual content of your endpoint. So what I'm all I'm gonna do is is I'm calling async.parallel, which runs this and then this one once this is done. That's the whole point of async. I'm passing the callback into the send email so that it knows like we know when it's done on the um, actual parallel part, and then I'm passing in the from email, the list of emails I want to send it to, the subject line, the text content, and then the HTML. And as you can see, I can do uh, inline styles to make it, I guess, better looking. And so the last thing is I need to get my API key. Okay, I just showed part of that just to show you how to create one. Um, it's going to be deleted by the time you see the video, so it doesn't matter. I saved it. Okay, now I also have to change the email. SendGrid prefers if these are not um, Gmail and stuff, like you can send to Gmail and stuff, but they prefer that you are sending from a business email, so a custom domain. Alright, so that's going to be mine. Um, and then the last thing I need to do is open up my as you can see, I've already done this for this tutorial. I need to run, actually run the actual server, and now I'm gonna send it. Okay, so it's compiled, I'm gonna hit send. And it's, it's returned true, so it means it's successful. Open up my email. As you can see, I just received the email here. Um, and it has HTML content, it's styled, and that's sending an email using Node.js with SendGrid. If you like this video, please subscribe. I come out with a new video every single Wednesday. And this Friday, I come out with my first episode of my new Electron series. It comes out at 5 p.m. These videos come at 8 a.m. every single Wednesday. Please subscribe. Please like this video. I just want to give a big shout out to the, the people who have signed up for EasyAPI.io. I really appreciate it. Tell me what you think. I know there's a lot more work to be done. I'm coming out with a Python SDK real quick. And I'm coming out with a lot more tutorials. There's a full API documentation. But I'd love to know what you think. Um, and on that note, uh,